All right. Uh, some people seem to have be having issues getting the setup file out of the XNA part, so I'm just gonna give you a nice little tutorial for. Cause yeah, these two people said there's only one file in the version 4.0, so we're gonna go through the website and figure out how to install this. Cause I guess it's kind of confusing. So download that. I'm not gonna download it again. If you can't get that far. Honestly, just get someone else to do it for you. All right, next thing you want to do is not open this. You want to go into Command Prompt, find your directory by clicking on the bar here, copy that, paste it here, and then also you have to copy this command and add that on by adding a backslash. Backslash, there we go. Alright, it's gonna ask, it's gonna tell you where it's gonna put it. I'm just gonna make it so it downloads it to the XNA file I have here. Okay. Complete. There you go. That's all the stuff from XNA. Now it says. This will create a couple files. Most important thing is the Redis. Run this file. Okay. So find this where you extracted it. Open it. There you go. Okay. Then now we go to the version 4.0. PC program files dot mz86 Microsoft XNA version 4.0 setup and there it all is. It's that easy. Then I'm pretty sure I have the rest of the tutorial in my video. Your computer, then you're gonna go into Microsoft XNA Game Studio version 4 setup. Then all the things. You won't see as many files here, that's because I've already ran. Yeah, see, like, you won't see as many files as I was saying. Sorry, I haven't, I uploaded this, what, how long ago did I upload this? January, and it's been a long time. Sorry, guys, I didn't think people would actually watch this video, and it's got, like, 500 views. So that's pretty good. But, yeah, so you go in there, and just follow the rest of my tutorial, and you should be able to get your sound files going. Yep. All right, well... Hope this helped. See you guys.